So here it is. My birthday present from my husband, Dave. Look, it's huge. It's my storage. I haven't put anything in it yet. I've just finished pulling all the tape off the front and the back. So I've got one, two, three, six, nine, twelve that are quite shallow um, and they will be great for my moulds. So yeah, I'll, I'll fill those up. What if it'll fit? Ah, it fits, it fits! Woohoo! Look at that! Um, and then I've got this row here which is a bit deeper and then the bottom one which is the deepest one so wow love it and I've got my radio there play my music it's got this lovely timber bench I'm gonna get some plastic for it first before I start putting things on it but there it is love it 2.4 meters so thank you to my lovely supportive husband David who drove all the way down to Brisbane yesterday to get it for me while I was at work <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh, I can't wait to fill it up with goodies. Right. Aren't I a lucky girl? <laughs> See you soon. G'day guys, welcome back. Having another little experiment with the 3D flower. I've just poured my resin into that mould and I've put 20 grams in each little cup. I'm using the Platinum Ultra Clear Food Grade and it got to 40 degrees. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to get to 40, but it did. Now, 20 grams, I'm going to put in two drops of the white Cast and Craft and I'm going to put in, um, I'll see what this looks like. I might just put one drop. Of actually, I better put two. One, actually, that was a big drop, that's probably two. Um, that's just pink in the um, armor, and then the other one is going to be the gold. I've got pink, gold, and white. And one, two. Because when I did my other ones with just the pigment paste, I just found that they were a little bit. A little bit too transparent. Right now, I've got all the pearl axes. I'm going to go with the white. This I'm going to do one little scoop for now. This one is called um, Macro Pearl. This one is Rose Gold. And then this one is Sparkle Gold. So I'm just going to see what it looks like with one little scoop. And I may need some more, we'll see. But see, I've got the paste in there. So that's hopefully going to make it a little bit more opaque. Now I've got some alcohol ink. And I've got two drops of paste, so I'm going to put two drops of ink in. This is the gold. One, two. And I'm going to do the gold in the pink as well. Because I don't want to put pink pink ink in and then I've got the white pinata alcohol ink for this one. I'm hoping this one will be sort of rose gold enough. One, two. All right, I'll give those a stir and see how they go. I forgot the sticks. Oh, and I found these, um, found these cute little fabric flowers that I thought I would use. So hopefully, hopefully it'll look pretty. Okay, so that's that one. I'm hoping I'm not going to lose the, like the goldy look in this. Hopefully it will still stay. Sometimes you lose the, the gold part of it when you put a paste in it's kind of this particular one <clears throat> I have got another one it's called pink 
pink gold instead of rose gold. This one's the rose gold. It's gone quite sort of um, more of an apricot-y colour. I don't think I need any more. Let's have a look. It looks quite, looks opaque. You want it just opaque. I think I'm going to put a little bit more alcohol ink in. I'm going to do another two. One, two, one, two. I actually don't know what the alcohol ink does. <laughs> I think maybe it just lightens it a bit, as in um, like the weight of it. And I wanted a little bit more gold in there, but I don't know if it'll make any difference. That's the other one. It's called pink gold. I'll do that one next time. This one's it's more of a yeah, it's more of a peachy salmony colour, I think. All right, let's move these out of the way. Hopefully I haven't left it too long. I've been experimenting and as you guys know, I've been watching me, you'll know. I've been struggling a little bit because it's winter here in Queensland, Australia now. And uh, my resin is doing different things to what it did when I was using it in summer. It's taking a lot longer to set up. I am using a different resin though because I've got a couple of new ones now and I'm trying those out so it's a little bit different as well and I'm going to make my little hole in my bag a little bit smaller and see if I can just keep the the weight of the coloured resin down a little bit so it's not quite so heavy okay, in with the gold I haven't put my little flower in yet, have I? That, oh, that one looks a little bit, a little bit more transparent. That one. I guess it's because the gold paste probably isn't an opaque, whereas the other two pastes that I used are opaque pastes. I must remember that for next time. I think. And maybe put a little bit more paste in. So it's not a very big mold. It's only a 20 centimetre on the inside. So I don't need a lot of colour. That's why I only made up the 20 grams of resin. So yeah, it, looks, it definitely looks more peach, doesn't it? Not so much pink. That's okay. Next time. <laughs> All right, let's do this little flower. I'll put him upside down. Hopefully he's not going to trap too much air underneath it. Gee, my resin's already quite thick. Give it a bit of a poke. I may do a top coat, you see. So even though this is sticking out, I don't know how I'm going to do this without it catching air underneath. Probably wasn't the best idea the bubbles popping out I push down on one side and then the other side lifts up I'm just going to get on with it um, because I'm testing the um, my times and the temperature and all that rather than what it looks like bubbles okay now I've got the gold center so I'll start with white and we'll just snip a little bit off And a little bit off. All right, how's that looking? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, just going to go wild. Oh gosh, it's because there's a bead on the in the center. Right, what's the time? Um, I'm just going to write this down. 4.25 pipe. Okay, I have no idea how long that is. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have to start. Okay, so I'm just going to go, just, just going to do lots of these. Um, 
Um, oh, I wonder if I could, if it's too late to pick it up and put it on my turntable. I wonder. I wonder. Whoops, 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 whoops. Dropping things. Oh my gosh. I should have put it on my turntable, you see. I wonder if I can still get it up on here without it. Yeah, alright. Now, I might have to change where you are. I'll just bring it back a little bit. There we go. It's probably a good idea to put, if you're going to be doing this, put it on a turntable, hey? Alright, here we go. Plus it's, um, it's a better height for me now too. Look at me go! Look at me go! Gosh, I've got a big blob in the middle there, haven't I? Okay. That's alright, it's covered. I don't know what happened there. Alright, next one. And same thing, just over the top. I'm not fussed if they overlap. Just going to do them however they come out. I need to wind it back up. Push it back up, I should say. I don't know that I've ever actually done one like this before. All right, now the gold. I might make that little hole a bit bigger. Oh, this is fun. All right, push that back up. Twist it round. See, the hole in the gold's bigger now, so it's, um, I've run out of gold already. Okay, now I'm going to put some more white on, because I've got more left. The resin seems to be getting thicker now. So we'll see whether or not that 40 minutes, oops, it's having trouble even piping it now. Okay, and there's a little blob just there I want to try and get out. All right, now I'm going to torch, just take this glove off so I don't have to get resin on my torch. Round in circles, keep that a bit, push, this is so much easier on a turntable you guys, why haven't I done this before, oh my gosh. Noisy today, aren't I? Very noisy. Now I wonder if it's going to work. Please work, please work, please work. I haven't had much luck with these lately. But yeah, I don't want to overheat it just a little bit. The, the resin wants to pull in from the outside in, so hopefully it will just do it on its own. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Let me just pick this up and throw it out while I've still got my gloves my one glove on anyway, there we go, and then I can take the gloves off, All right, I'm going to get you down, have a little look, am I in the centre, not really, gosh, I'm always off centre, I don't know, it's hard, it's, it's hard to tell, hard to tell, 
because um I don't know am I in the center oh there's a hair so you can see, see, see things like that when you're um got the light over you where'd it go Trying to look through my screen. <laughs> there we go. I got oh now it's made a little pattern. Sometimes it's better just to leave it because this is the the top. Like you're not going to see it anyway. Look at the shimmer. Oh look, the rose gold is shimmering. I was a bit concerned that it wasn't going to shimmer. That I'd lost that shimmer. <gasps> look, you guys, it's starting to bloom. <gasps> oh, wow. It's going to be like very very sharp like pointy looking like it's not going to be I don't think it's going to be like dainty and rounded it's going to be more sort of pointy-ish now I'm just wondering if I can move this push it over a little bit I'm just not sure if it's in the center or not probably shouldn't play with it should I So this end's lifted up. Never mind. Um, I can't really do anything about it at the moment. Better just leave it <laughs> or I'll ruin it. All right. Um, I will probably put, depending on how much this closes up. See, if it closes up, there's no point putting a backing on it because you just won't see. You'll only see a, you know, a tiny little bit of color around the outside. But if... I've still got some spaces like in between that haven't closed up. I'll put a background on. Oh, but what color? What color? That's the thing. I guess a black would look nice, wouldn't it? All right, I'll come back in about half an hour and um, we'll check it out. But look, it's blooming. Oh, gosh. <gasps> Thank you, resin gods. All right, I'll see you soon. It's been about half an hour or so hasn't really changed a lot still got some gaps between nice and sparkly what I may do next time is drop the paste down to one drop and increase the mica to two little scoops just to see if I can get more of a sparkle in the white unless I leave it at two drops and do two scoops because it, I think I could get away with it being a little bit more opaque hey look at the white there just to get a little bit more of that sparkle in it but um, yeah now I just have to decide what color background to do it's already quite um, thick and sticky. I keep pushing this little petal down. So it's getting quite thick and sticky. So um, it shouldn't be, take too long before I can do another coat. I can probably do that tonight actually because this resin sets up pretty quick. Um, oh, what colour, what colour, what colour? Probably black. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. It's uh, 20 to 8 in the evening, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to use black. This one is called Galaxy, and it's by this little piggy. Just mixed up some more of the same resin. And I did um, uh, one hand, oh, no, I, did, I did 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. And that's what it did. So just over 100 grams. Let's put some of this in. See, it's got a, I was debating whether to do like a pigment paste and just have like a, um, put another one in, like a really solid background. But then I thought, well, this is quite shimmery. So I'll do a nice sort of shimmery mica powder. It looks shimmery in the little jar. So hopefully that will give a nice effect rather than just a, a really stark black background. 
but I do want this to be opaque. I don't want to be able to see through it. It's almost a, a grayish black. But you can see the sparkle in it, so I think it'll be just fine. And I didn't make up a lot, probably half of what I made for the first layer there, because I only need a little bit to go over the back. It just needs to cover the surface. I think that's okay. Yep, <clears throat> should be fine. Make sure it's all mixed in. Okay, here we go. See, that's, I can touch it, but if I had to push on it, it would leave a, a dent or a little fingerprint. Goodbye, little flower. I'll see you in the morning. I have to be at work at 8.30 in the morning, which means I have to go at 8. Which means I have to be doing, blow drying my hair and doing makeup and getting dressed at 7.30. Uh, this is how I work out what time I get, get up. Um, so, yeah, 7.30, which means... Oh, I really need to be in the shower at 6.30, which means I need to get up at no later than 6 because I've got to look after the dogs and the puppies and clean up and mop and feed them and <clears throat> all that sort of thing. There's so much mess in the dog room because my husband's been excavating and digging. He's pulled up all the grass, so there's like heaps of dirt. It's just this red dirt. <clears throat> And of course the dogs are walking it inside, aren't they? <laughs> I'm forever mopping. It's not much fun. He says he's going to put some grass down in the next couple of days. So another roll down to... All right. Well, that's looking interesting, isn't it? Now you can already see, I don't know if you can see from up there, but see how the resin's pulling from the outside in? It's making those little lines. See, that's what the, um, the 3D flower does. Similar sort of thing. The resin moves from the outside in. So that's why it spreads like that. But of course, if your resin is too thin, your color will just fall through. You can see how it's moving, look at that. It's moving so fast already. All right, so not much to see here. Um, it probably will just all smooth over and we'll get a nice smooth finish. Um, so, um, I'll unmold it in the morning because I'll be really keen to see, but it'll take me a while to edit the video and then I've got to upload it and that takes a while. So I won't be able to get it up until tomorrow after work. So, um, yeah, I'll see you then for the unmolding. And uh, hopefully it'll be really pretty. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, I'm so excited to unmold this one. Is it dry? Yes. And you can see what I'm, I was talking about, how the resin pulls from the outside in. And instead of having all that uh, different markings, we've all got these little, little tiny, thin little lines that go through. Look at that. Isn't that a, an immaculate finish over the top, hey? Just amazing. Right, let's get to the unmolding. Pop that out. Tiny little lip there because I didn't fill the mold right up to the top. So it's a tiny little little lip there, but not bad. Okay, <gasps> here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my little, my little flower got covered a little bit. I was worried it was going to do that. You know, I could put some resin down, put the flower down and let it sit so it so the resin didn't soak underneath. That would be an option. But then, you know, that's an extra step. But without looking at that, let's have a look at the actual petals themselves. How am I going to do this without getting too much glare? Look at that. Aren't they pretty? It's worked well. Definitely 3D, definitely layering. 
but because I did you know little pointy pipings they've turned out quite pointy <laughs> at the ends oh, it's really pretty just a shame about the center you know if if for some reason you don't like your center um, <clears throat> you could put another bit of glitter or another flower or whatever you wanted to um, I'll just show you what it what it would look like if I can get one out there's that other little gold one coming out they've got sticky stuff on the back it's difficult to get them out ah, come on gotcha it's got a little sticky thing on the back peel that off I don't need that there so what you could do like if like I said if you weren't happy with your center and it got covered or it wasn't in the middle you could put your glitter on you know you could mix up a little bit of glitter next time you're doing resin put a little bit in put it in the center or you could do in my case another little flower and just pop it there and it, it is quite high you know because it's got the little pearl but um, you could ideally do another coat of resin over the top and um, I may even do that because that would look better hey just because I, it's all covered but that one's too high so for this one ideally mix up a little bit of this in a bit of resin um, do a top coat and you can easily do a top coat and um, put a little bit of that in the center and that would fix that problem so yeah we could do that what do you think i may do that if i've got time because i'm just not very happy with the center there actually maybe i could do it in like a, a darker color like a, a brown that would really look like the center of a flower rather than in the the gold be more contrast i may do that actually it's such a shame to spoil that beautiful glossy top though <laughs> Mm, hey, love it all right thanks for watching um i may actually come back and do this so i won't say goodbye just yet just in case i decide to do that and um, i'll show you what i do all right see you soon hey guys i'm back i am um, i decided to do what i said about putting another little center in just because i really love this one and i'm disappointed with that center piece i think if i use them again um, i put a bit of resin on them stick them down onto the mold and let it cure and then pour as normal because that way the resin won't be able to go underneath so i'll do that so i've just made up a little bit of resin uh, 75 grams of a and 32 grams of b and i thought I'm going to use these two. I'm going to do a darker center and then I'm going to put a bit of that sort of coppery around just to give it, rather than just have one plain color, I'm going to do two. So this one is copper and that one is espresso. And I don't need a lot at all. So let's just put a little bit of resin in that one and a little bit of resin in that one. And when you're top coating, it's really good to do um, a nice thick resin that's not going to run over the edges. I'll put some of that in there. So this one is the, which one did I use? This one for the top coat, the 360 plus. So I've done that. It's a nice hard resin. Um, you can, you know, if you're going to unmold anything, not that I'm unmolding, but it'll be, it'll be dry in like six hours. Um, probably put a little bit too much resin in that one. So what I thought I would do, because you know how glitter just spreads everywhere. What I thought I would do is put the top coat on first and let it sit for about 20 minutes and start, so it starts thickening up. And then I'm going to come and put my centers in. 
um, because I just I don't want them to you know spread too much I want them to stay in the middle so that's what I'm going to do um, and look I've got my little turntable I've got the bigger one as well which is a higher one which is that big metal cake one but this one's just um, a little black plastic one and the top turns so yeah it's good if you don't want something up that's up too high so give it a blow make sure there's no dust on it and here we go I haven't actually used this resin before as a top coat so we'll see. I won't put too much on. I don't want it dripping over the edges. I want it just coming to the sides. And I think the best thing to use is a little palette knife because you can hold it like that and it gives you a nice flat um, base. Because if you're using this, it's really hard. Like you'd have to hold it like that to get a flat base. So this is this is handy. All right, just going to push it to the edge and hopefully it will just stay there. Something in there. So yeah, just gently push it to the edge. Hopefully I haven't put too much resin on. I wasn't quite sure how much to make. Some resins don't do this and they'll want to pull back from the, the edges. So um, I'm hoping this one will work because it's a nice thick one. There's nothing worse than pushing your resin to the edges and then it pulls back and it has those bald spots. Have you ever had that happen to you? I have. And I've used like a thinner resin. I don't want it to go over the edges though. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I can always paint the edges with some gold if I choose to or some copper. But it, it, you sort of run the palette knife right sort of over the edge and the resin just sort of stays there. It just sticks to the, the sides, which is good if you're using a nice thick resin, like a, a top coat resin. The one-to-one -one resins usually are a little bit thicker than the two-to-one resins. Just hoping I haven't made up too much. I might have to take some off if it's too much because I still have to leave some space for my glitters so I don't want to make it too too thick how's that looking but you have to have enough on there that it gives a nice coat you know if it's too thin it'll want to maybe pull back a bit I think that's very thick though I might see if I can take a bit off what am I going to do with this resin now half a cup of resin here oh actually I know I do have another little project that I need a bit of resin for. I'll use that. Just smooth it over again. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to put too much on because I still need to, you know, put this in. Maybe I could do it now. Like, it's not very thick. It's not going to... I don't think it'll flow away. That bit there is poking out. Maybe once I put my other resin on top, that little bit there... It's poking through <laughs> a little bit of a flower there. All right, well, that's looking really good. Really good. I'm just going to wipe my little palette knife and give it a clean with a baby wipe. Right, let's give this a torch. Get any bubbles out because this is going to be the top. We don't want any bubbles at all. Any bits of hair or fluff or anything. Now that to me is a little bit too thin, so I'm going to add a little bit more glitter. Really didn't need much resin in this at all. I'm um, just not sure if I should wait a bit longer or whether I should do it now. Because this is a paste, so this is quite thick, so it might be all right. Should we just try it? If I wait too long, it might be too thick. Let's just do it. Okay, now I want to put this in the centre because that's not quite in the centre. Oh, let's, should we do it? Should we do it? Let's do it. Is that the middle? I'll come around here and have a look. Oh, no, look, I'm off centre. See how it's spreading? That's why I thought I might, I should wait. I don't know 
perfect scented. Eight centimeters. Eight and a half centimeters. Eight and a half. Eight. Okay, so it kind of needs to come down a little bit. But look, see how it's spread? I think I'm going to wait a bit, you guys. I'm going to wait a little bit. It's not quite in the center either. All right, I'm going to put you on pause. Um, I'll come back. Yeah, it, I just don't want it to spread because I still have to put the copper. I want to put that copper around the outside of the brown. And if the brown spreads too much, then the, I'll have too much copper. So I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to go and do my little project with this leftover resin. And um, I'll come back to you once this is thickened a bit. At least we know now what not to do, okay? And I'll try to see if I can center it a bit better. All right, see you soon. All righty. I have to put you on autofocus again. It's been actually been 40 minutes I kept checking it and it still kept floating away but um, I've put a little bit more glitter in and it's it is thicker now so but you can see that's been floating away I think what I might try is do the kind of do the outside first with a little bit of this copper I'm assuming it will spread a little bit. There's a little bit of the brown sort of mixed in with the copper there on the edges. I'm not fussed about that. A little bit of blending's okay. We don't need a lot. It's probably enough, hey. I don't want it to spread too far again. I'll just even that up a little bit. Yeah, I made way too much, didn't I? Way too much. Who wants some? Come and get some. Come and get some glitter. Okay, so that's that one. Now let's just put a little blob of the brown in the middle. Look how thick it is. Whoops, no, don't go over there. So I'm hoping that it will level out. Hope so. So I guess it'll spread a little bit more while it levels. So I'm, I don't know, I'm... I'm hoping it'll work. Hope so. Just break that little line up ever so slightly. It can spread just a touch. Like so. <laughs> Oh gosh, I hope it works. Couldn't be any worse than what it was initially, hey? With the big blobby flower thing. Look at all that! Look what I've got left. Okay, mm, still kind of a bit off center, isn't it? Let's see now. From the copper, it's about seven, uh, seven and a half. Okay, I should try and move it over a bit. Seven, seven and a half. I'm going to try and just push it over a little bit more, but um, I'll show it to you when it's dry. Yeah, when I stand here, I can see it. It needs to be moved over a bit. Um, I'll push it over while it's still wet, and um, I'll show you the dried results anyway. I'll take a photo outside. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon for the next one. Okay, bye for now.